Welcome back to another video guys. I'm here with my buddy Andy and today we're putting an electric fan in his Drift E36. Okay, these coilovers aren't quite right. I feel like we need to loosen up something. So he recently bought an eBay electric fan kit along with an aluminum radiator and we're gonna throw it in here today. We're right now on our way to O'Reilly's because we have to pick up a little bit of wiring and a couple uh, relays and switches and stuff like that and then we can get onto this install. Got back from O'Reilly's, picked up stuff we needed. This is the fan kit he ordered online. There will be a link in the description where you can buy this along with the radiator. It's underneath that thing is what, like 190 bucks or something like that. So what we're going to start doing is tearing apart all the old setup. And you can go ahead and remove all these Phillips screws right here. The pretty apparent ones. I think there's four. Remove this air ducting. Start popping off the radiator hoses and these clips. You get a screwdriver under here and kind of pry back and forth and it'll pop out like that. We already did this one. Haven't done the other one yet. Make sure you drain your coolant before you do this. There's a drain plug somewhere on this side or the other. Got the radiator out along with the shroud and the reservoir. Little hose that runs on the, uh, the bottom part of the reservoir runs through the shroud about here. So you have to pull it through the shroud before you can pull it out. That's kind of a tricky part. So yeah, all this upper radiator, lower radiator hose that one hose in the middle. And you also have to pull out that one smaller hose that is stuck in the shroud right now. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is grab my, my big one and one quarter inch wrench and put it on the fan back here and it's reverse threaded. So you'll spin it to the right and it should unscrew. Sometimes these are a bit of a pain, we'll see. Alrighty, helpful tip. This fan's a bit of a pain and it's reverse threaded. So that nut looking thing right there is what you put the big wrench on and you spin it to the right. But it also spins the pulley. So what I ended up doing was grabbed an old kind of a pretty thick screwdriver and I put it under one of these screws like that and I let it go ahead and rest down here so it ended up kind of sitting it's kind of hard to show you on the right now but it ended up kind of sitting about like that so the handle was resting on this bottom pulley the crank pulley it ends up bending the screwdriver a little bit but I was able to get the fan off which is good might wipe this down a little bit Start doing some wiring. So here's some of the stuff we picked up at O'Reilly. It's got some 10 gauge wire, got some connectors, an inline fuse, some fuses, a switch, and a 40 amp relay. This is the uh, the diagram that uh, old Ken at O'Reilly's helped us out with. Kind of gave us a little bit of, a little bit of a visual. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Um, I think we might mock up the fan first, kind of place it, and start measuring the wire. But pretty much what uh, what Ken was saying, the the big 10 gauge wire needs to go from the fan to the relay and also from the battery and also the grounds for those two. These uh, these two on the end here, the one going to the switch and the other ground coming off of the relay don't have to be nearly as thick as this. So I think I got some other wire laying around over here that we can use. We're gonna go ahead and start laying some stuff out, cutting it, splicing it together, and I'll go ahead and go over everything we did after it's done. Got the fan and radiator all mocked up in here. What we ended up doing was, yeah, the shroud that it came with was a little bit off, and so we just went ahead, just kind of by bypassed it for this drift car application thing, and just ended up zip tying it to the to the uh, to the radiator. So pretty much what we did, we took a zip tie, ran it through, and then took another zip tie and ran it up against the radiator on this side and snipped it off. It holds it pretty well. This is the this is the setup I'm running on mine. It hasn't fallen off yet. Just wrapped up all the wiring. We're gonna go ahead and test it out. It is fused, so hopefully we don't blow it or. Uh, catch anything on fire but let's go ahead reconnect the battery because we disconnected it before we did all this stuff let's test it out hey, I'll take it off take it off take it off and you'll watch well, the switch was on so she works all right that's good enough looks like the fan works i'm gonna go ahead and go over kind of the wiring what i did hopefully you guys can follow because it's a bit of a mess i'm gonna go ahead and tidy things up kind of zip tie it together and put it all about here for now we're just gonna run the switch under the hood just because it's a drift car setup for now. We'll find a way to route it in the interior at some point. But we did go off this clutch diagram Mr. Ken drew us up at O'Reilly's. Go ahead and you uh, you can refer to that. There is a fuse in this battery wire here. And also the switch that we used, there's that. Ended up using little connectors from the positive and negative from the fan. Going to the top of the relay and then the fuse from the relay to the battery and we just tapped into the battery right here. There's two wires coming off the battery. One goes directly to the switch right here. Battery's disconnected, right. And then one goes to the relay. That's on the fuse line here. There are three grounds we're running. One ground coming from the uh, the fan, and there's a little ground spot right there. And one off the relay, also grounded, and then one off the switch, also grounded. And I believe that's it. 30 amp fuse we're running with this. Crimped everything together. We're gonna get, like I said, I'm gonna tidy it up here in a second. But that is how you wire up a fan for your uh, E36. Came out pretty good. 
I like it. You can also do it where you can find the power source either in the fuse box or tap into something. Whenever you turn the ignition, it sends power to it and it powers the fan. But we're just running it off a switch right now just to keep it really simple. And whenever he wants to drift or whatever, he turns on the switch. All we have to do now is connect the hoses back, fill it up, and bleed it a little bit. Just let it run and bubble out the top a little bit. Make sure all the air gets out of it. Cap it. Should be good to go. I believe that is all. I end up doing with the one hose that runs through the shroud since I'm not running the aluminum one. As I end up just zip tying it through the radiator at the bottom. I know it's not the best way to do it, but we're gonna run with that for now. Yeah, we just run we just run zip ties around here these days. That's all we're running on these drift cars. Alrighty guys, hopefully that helped you out a little bit. That's gonna do it for this video. If it helped you out, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.